Just because you see it at a grocery store does not mean you should be buying it there. Grocery stores bet on the fact that ease of access and relatively cheap prices will convince consumers to purchase everything they need at one location. Here are five things you may be wasting your money on. Let's go. A great way to save money is purchasing your pet's food in bulk. Now typically at a grocery store, there's a limited amount of variety and also bag size to choose from. However, at a specialty store or even online, there's many more different options and there are also many more different sizes. Just be conscious of the fact that if you decide to do wet food instead of dry food, you may want to do a monthly subscription instead of doing bulk because the wet food can go bad, but the dry food, it can last a while. Another great one is batteries. Now, typically we pay them no mind. You know, your remote goes dead or your home phone goes dead. So the next time you're at the store, you just buy a couple pack of batteries, but they're pretty expensive. Now compared to reusable batteries, they may cost the same at the beginning, but you'll get dozens, if not hundreds of uses of them, making it far more worth your money in the long term. I used to go through six to eight batteries every single film session. I had no choice. My devices needed them and the sessions lasted that long but I had a friend recommend me reusable batteries and I haven't looked back since. I've been using these guys for probably nine months now. I used to go every single month buying new batteries. Now you probably won't be using batteries at the same rate that I am, but you know, over the course of a year, you might spend a fair amount of money on batteries, but this is a one-time charge. I'm gonna be using these probably for the next couple years or so, saving me a lot of money. So, you know, even if it's dead, a couple hours later, it's not. So you'll never be without a battery. Lottery tickets can feel like no big deal. You know, every time you go grocery shopping, eh, five, 10, even 20 bucks on a couple tickets. But over the course of a year, this can seriously add up to hundreds of dollars. And if you're a little addicted, maybe even thousands of dollars. Now, the appeal of the lottery is understandable, but it's also extremely unrealistic. So you might as well be spending that money on something that you actually need or something with guaranteed results. Now, granted, every time the lottery hits a billion, 1.5 or $2 billion, then yeah, spend a couple bucks, cross your fingers and see if you win. But doing it every single time, maybe may want to spend your money on something else. Another thing is Lunchables or other pre-packaged meals. Now, in the past, a little bit of nostalgia, but bear with me. You'd open your lunchbox and there'd be a Lunchable and you'd freak out, right? Absolutely insane. You'd make the pizza with the sauce. You know, you try to be like a little chef by drizzling the cheese on it, or you'd make as big of a stack of crackers, ham and cheese as you could, right? They were convenient, they were fun, and you had no care in the world. Nowadays, you do have to care. Right? You read the back of them and you're like, why is there so many carbs and so much sodium for something so tiny? right? Because these products need to be preserved to last as long as possible in the off chance that someone buys them, right? So better for your wallet and better for your health just to make something for yourself. Make a sandwich or make a home cooked meal. I know it takes more time and you know, time might be a factor. I get it. But in the long term, it's better for you. And one that I'm sure we're all guilty of is not sticking to the list. <laughs> it happens. Trust me. You go into the store being like, I need X, Y, and Z, that's all I need. And then 15 minutes later, you have a cart full of everything from A to Z. So this happened. Maybe you have an, you have an uh, empty stomach, or maybe you had the list in your head, but it's not written down. So you, you forget things or you add things or you're unsure about things. So try before going to the store, going through your kitchen and seeing what you actually need. And let's say if you're in the store and you see a deal for something, in the moment it looks great, but because you did your research, you know, hey, we already have four of those things at home. It's not needed. So stick with the list and your wallet will thank you. There are a lot of interesting things to buy at the store. And the longer you stay, the more likely you are to buy something you never originally planned to do. Let me know in the comments down below some things that you can't resist when you go to the store and some things when you really try to stay away from. And with that, I'm Evan and thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.